Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA 1969. Everybody to the Real World Chronicles. I am your host, as always, Brad Drake, and this is All Japan Pro Wrestling. Now, you may notice something a little funny with the date at the top left portion of the screen, and that is because I did not like the way the save went as it progressed. I think I made a mistake by forming the alliance, I think I made a mistake. By forming the world television title. I got a little carried away with TV shows. Things got mixed up. And I decided to go back to May. In the save. I had a backup save. And to redo things. So our roster has not changed much at all. We are running two A television shows. We're recording them a month at a time. And then we are having one B television show, which is going to be called J-Force, which is going to feature strictly junior heavyweights. And again, this will be recorded for the whole month. Then we are going to run the monthly special, which exists in real life, called B Banquet. And that one runs on Gora Sports. So that's the way we have television shows set up. You can tell they're just one-hour shows. They're three matches. This is a simple deal that makes sense and is pretty much similar to how All Japan ran television. Well, television Japan Japanese wrestling is way different than here. Like there's TV specials and sometimes they have like a weekly show. TV isn't that big of a deal over there because they have the tours going constantly and the tours are what is mostly televised. However, to make things fun and to have some fun and to use TEW, you know, to its 2020 capabilities, I decided to do these TV shows. So we record all of All Japan TV, All Japan Pro Wrestling TV on Monday. We record all the King's Rose on Tuesday. We record J-Force and B-Banquet on Wednesday. So the first three days of the month are dedicated to television tapings. Sound familiar to the WWF save? Yes, it is familiar, similar. So that's what we're doing here, everybody. I, I like this a lot better. I think it makes more sense. So let's go to our booking screen here. Absent workers. Who is this super strong machine, and who's this super strong machine too? Well, the Saito brothers, June and Ray Saito, they're going nowhere, right? They were young lions. They've been taking lumps for a long time. I have decided to take them off television for two months. When I bring them back, they are going to wear masks and Tarzan singlets, and they are going to be the super strong machines. Now, as you know, the real super strong machine retired. 
about two years ago. So this is just a cool concept. I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see how it works out. All right. Backstage incidents. We have lots of cool protege stuff going on, so I'm sure most of these are going to be protege stuff. Of course, Takuma Fujiwara gets himself in a little bit of trouble all the time. All right, here we go. Now we're into the protege work here. All right, good stuff. Uh, you can tell we've brought in some new wrestlers, some graduates of academies. This, uh, this save is desperately a need for heavyweights, right? So I'm pretty much getting my hands on every heavyweight that graduates anywhere, bringing them in. in. I assign them pictures. I try to assign them pictures of wrestlers that have retired or wrestlers that have completely changed their look so they have a uh, picture. Otherwise, I've picked up some stuff online and plugged it in also. So here we go. Lots of protege work, as you can see, a ton of it. And uh, it's about that time, everybody. So let's take a look. We're going to record two episodes for this, and then we're that's how we're going to bust out these uh, these uh, recordings for the show. We're going to do two of the televisions at once, so that's six total matches. So in our first one here, we're going to see Ren Ayabi against Keiji Muto in the opener again. We brought Muto out of retirement, and he helps. He's got a lot of protégés. He's good stuff, also works as a road agent. In the second match, we're going to see a tag team match as Sugataka Seto and Septimo Dragon will face Kato Aishida and Koji Iwamoto. I have found that these two have excellent chemistry, and they're both really good wrestlers, and I'm glad that we have them on our roster here. And our main event, everybody, is going to be Ryuki Honda against Keno. And as you know, our product features heavily, is weighted heavily on the main event, so that's why you see young lions or wrestlers that are used to losing here on the two previous matches. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead, everybody. Let's get to booking. So here's Ayabi versus Muto. I think KG Muto's like 62 here already. That's all right, 61, yeah. It's all right, we're going to keep using them. All right, so here we go. KG Muto with the win here, everybody, against the young Ayabi. And this one is now in the books. Ah, see, Ayabi has bad, bad stamina. We're going to continue despite that. And actually, we're going to make a note of this and get this sorted out. Japanese wrestlers all have excellent stamina, so that's it's unrealistic that a young Japanese wrestler could not go. 20 minutes in a match. That's that's all they preach and that's all they practice in the uh, dojos. All right, Sato and Septimo Dragon. Against... Oh, man, I forgot the name. <laughs> Ishida and Iwamoto. There we go. I like these two guys. They're good. This one's going to go 20. So here we go. Here is Septimo Dragon, Mexican import. And here's Sugutaka Sato, who I like. I think he's a good wrestler. Someday he might build himself out of being just an undercard guy who's doing a lot of using, losing. And he, hopefully he's not using. <laughs> and here is Aishida. And Iwamoto. So let's give the win here to Koji Iwamoto, former junior heavyweight champion of the world. And here comes our big main event, everybody. That's Ryuki Honda against Keno. Keno, of course, we had on loan, but we stole him from the clutches of Noah. I would like nothing more than to put Noah out of business. I think very highly of Keno. I think he is a world-class talent. And I'm very glad to have him. He featured prominently on our last tour that just wrapped up, the Super Power Series tour. So here is Honda, and here is our man, Keno. All right, Keno with the win here, everybody. And this one, as we say, is in the books. Let's go ahead and start it. Let's see how we do. So here's Ayabi versus Muto, only a 43. 
that of course it's hurt because Ayabi has terrible stamina. And here we go, Aishida and Iwamoto. And uh, get a 57 for this one, which is pretty darn good here. Aishida and Iwamoto, good scores. Good stuff. All right. Up next to our big main event is Honda against Keno. And Keno only scores a 78, which is a little surprising. He usually rocks into the 80s, although this is a shorter match for a main event. And we get a 76 overall for this one. So we're going to finish this one up. And we are limited in our growth because we are on Samurai TV, which I think is only small. So that's why we're limited, but that's okay. All right, let's take a look at our next television taping here. We will also move our highlight over here. And we are going to see youngsters, rookies, young lions, Shinri, Ito, and Nuburo, Katsumata against Satoshi Kojima, and Takuya Nomura. We are going to see Ryuya Takura against Manabu Soya in the semi-main and the main event, everybody. We're going to see six-man tag action as Shuji Ishikawa, Masayuki Kono, and Suwama will face Kuma Arashi, Shitaro Ashino, and Kento Mia. Hara. And of course, Arashi and Ashino are the reign, uh, reigning world tag team champions. So check out this cut and paste action here, everybody. It saves some time. I know a lot of you use the auto name, but I don't like to because I like it to look like an actual, actual billeted card has it. And it would be Ito and Katsumata against Kojima and Nomura. So here we go. Tag teams. We can punch in Kojima and Nomura, which has been a pretty darn good tag team for us. And here we go. Where's our man Ito? Where are you, Ito? I've probably scrolled by it seven times. You, the uh, viewers, are probably laughing at me. There is Shinri Ito, and his partner is Noburo Katsumata. Now, there's always a risk using these young guys because they don't have a lot of experience, and they tend to injure people. So let's hope we avoid that. And we are going to give ring veteran Satoshi Kojima the W here, everybody, on this one. And this one is in the books. Up next here, we have Takura against Soya. They will go 20. These match lengths are a little excessive, but that's what we need in order to get a decent rating. And it's probably not too far off from the way the Japanese shows actually looked. Here we go, Manabu Soya. I am a big fan of Manabu Soya. And we also stole him from our rivals, Pro Wrestling Noah. Soya with the W here. He gets to use that cross knee lock, I think. And here comes our main event. We're going to do some cut and paste action. This one, because it's a six man, only be 19 minutes. And here we go. Arashi and Ashino, the Violent Giants. And then we plug in Masayuki Kono. And then we plug in Kento Miyahara. And we are going to have Kento Miyahara get the win here. The ace of our company. And this one's maxed out at 65 minutes. We're ready to go. Let's see how we do. All right. There we go. Kojima gets the win with the with the double running lariat. That's, his, that's the finisher between him and Nomura. I like these two together. They're a good team. And you can see our two rookie, rookies have some very low scores here at 25 and 16, but that's expected. They are rookies. It's going to take them a long time to get better, and that's exactly what Japanese wrestling does, is have them do the losing. All right, and take Kura against Manabu Soya, and Soya gets the win, just like I predicted with that cross knee lock. 56 overall for these two, everybody. This brings us to our main event here, which has a lot lower of a score than I thought we'd get. I thought we cracked the 80s here, but Kento Miyahara beats Ishikawa with that shutdown German suplex hold. Miyahara is the real deal, everybody, and so are Arashi and Ashino. Very, 
very good wrestlers, good tag team. Ishikawa and Suwama are up there in age. They're part of the old guard. Masayuki Kono is getting older also. But uh, here we got a pretty darn good match here for a television match. 79 overall, and I'll take it. There we go. We get an increase in six regions. We're held back in two because of the nature of our broadcaster. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this, for this one. For those of you that are looking for more, you can find it. Head on over to Patreon, patreon.com slash Powercast Network. You will get access to all of our spreadsheets. You will get access to version 10.1 of the Super Mod, and you will get all of our shows early and ad-free. Check it out today, everybody. You can become a member of our Patreon group for just $5, the price of a cup of coffee, everybody. It's even cost less than brownies. I just bought brownies that were more expensive than that. So check it out today, everybody. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Don't forget, you can find us on social media, Facebook.com slash group slash 1987 Supermod. And last but not least, everybody, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop us a message below. Let us know how you found the channel and what you think of us so far. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll be back here in a few days with more television 